Are you ready to discover the tragic decline of Disney's Star Wars franchise? Today we're deep diving into the turmoil surrounding Disney's handling of Star Wars and the ominous future it faces. Stick around as we explore the fallout from Disney's decisions and what it means for the beloved galaxy far, far away. Since Disney acquired the rights to Star Wars, the once revered franchise has been on a downward spiral. What was once a beloved universe filled with iconic characters and captivating stories has now become a battleground of disappointment and disillusionment. With each new installment, fans hold their breath hoping for redemption, only to be met with further disappointment. The release of The Force Awakens in 2015 marked the beginning of Disney's Star Wars era, and while it initially sparked excitement among fans, cracks in the foundation soon began to emerge. While some praised the film for its nostalgic nods to the original trilogy, others criticised it for playing it safe and failing to innovate. This divide among fans would only deepen with subsequent releases. The Last Jedi further polarised the fanbase, with director Rian Johnson taking bold creative risks that left many fans feeling alienated. While some appreciated the subversion of expectations and thematic exploration, others felt that it betrayed the essence of Star Wars and disregarded established lore. The backlash was fierce, sparking heated debates and even calls to remake the film. With each new installment from Solo, A Star Wars Story and The Rise of Skywalker, the once unified Star Wars fandom became increasingly fractured. What was meant to be a celebration of the franchise's legacy instead became a battleground of conflicting visions and disappointed expectations. Amidst the turmoil surrounding Disney's Star Wars franchise, the studio is also facing significant financial challenges. Despite being a powerhouse in the entertainment industry, Disney's recent ventures into the Star Wars universe have been met with underwhelming box office performance and lukewarm reception from fans and critics alike. In addition to the lackluster performance of individual Star Wars films, Disney's been forced to confront broader financial concerns. Layoffs and restructuring have become commonplace as the studio struggles to adapt to changing market dynamics and shifting consumer preferences. Despite these challenges, Disney has opted to double down on the Star Wars franchise, announcing ambitious plans for future projects, including a trilogy centered around the character of Rey. This decision has left many scratching their heads, wondering why Disney would continue to invest in a failing franchise amidst financial uncertainty. The announcement of a new Rey-led trilogy has sparked skepticism among fans and industry insiders alike. Given the lukewarm reception of the character in the sequel trilogy and the declining interest in Star Wars as a whole, many question the wisdom of Disney's decision to move forward with such a project. In the case of Star Wars, however, this strategy appears to have backfired. Despite the franchise's storied history and dedicated fanbase, Disney's mishandling of the property has led to declining interest and diminishing returns. As Disney grapples with the fallout from its misguided decisions and financial woes, the future of the Star Wars franchise hangs in the balance. Will Disney learn from its mistakes and chart a new course for the galaxy far, far away? Or is Star Wars destined to fade into obscurity? Only time will tell. One of the fundamental issues plaguing Disney's Star Wars endeavors is the glaring absence of a coherent creative vision. While the original trilogy created by George Lucas captivated audiences with its rich mythology and compelling characters, Disney's approach to the franchise has been markedly different. Instead of fostering a sense of wonder and exploration, Disney Star Wars films often feel disjointed and devoid of substance. Rather than building on the established lore of the galaxy far, far away, Disney has opted for a more superficial approach, relying on nostalgia and fan service to drive its narrative. This lack of creative vision is perhaps most evident in Disney's handling of the character Rey. Introduced as a mysterious and powerful Force-sensitive individual in The Force Awakens, Rey's character arc ultimately falls flat due to the lack of meaningful development and growth. Instead of delving into Rey's backstory and motivations, Disney resorts to shallow characterizations and predictable plot twists. Furthermore, Disney's insistence on prioritizing diversity and representation over storytelling quality has only served to exacerbate the problem. While diversity and representation are undoubtedly important, they should never come at the expense of compelling storytelling. By focusing on surface-level diversity without addressing deeper narrative concerns, Disney Star Wars films ultimately feel hollow and uninspired. This lack of creative vision extends beyond individual characters to overarching narratives in the sequel trilogy. Instead of crafting a cohesive and engaging story that builds upon the events of the original trilogy, Star Wars sequels feel disjointed and aimless, lacking a clear sense of direction or purpose. 
Despite widespread criticism and backlash from fans, Disney has consistently ignored or dismissed legitimate concerns about the quality of its Star Wars films. Instead of engaging with fan feedback and addressing underlying issues, Disney has chosen to deflect blame onto a vocal minority of so-called toxic fans. While it's true that every fandom has its share of detractors, the overwhelming majority of criticism directed at Disney Star Wars films stems from a genuine desire for better storytelling and more engaging characters. Rather than acknowledging these concerns, Disney's opted to label dissenting voices as misogynistic or bigoted, effectively shutting down any meaningful dialogue about the franchise's shortcomings. This refusal to engage with fan feedback has only served to deepen the divide between Disney and its audience, with many fans feeling alienated and marginalized by the studio's dismissive attitude. Instead of fostering a sense of community and shared passion for the franchise, Disney's handling of fan criticism has only fueled resentment and frustration. Furthermore, by mischaracterizing legitimate critiques as mere expressions of bigotry or hatred, Disney has effectively silenced dissenting voices and prevented meaningful discussion about the future of the franchise. Ultimately, if Disney hopes to salvage its relationship with fans and restore confidence in the Star Wars franchise, it must be willing to acknowledge and address the legitimate concerns raised by its audience. Only by engaging in honest dialogue and demonstrating a commitment to quality storytelling can Disney hope to win back the trust of disillusioned fans and chart a course for the future of the galaxy far, far away. Disney's reliance on existing franchises and reluctance to take risks has played a significant role in the decline of the Star Wars franchise. Instead of investing in original storytelling and innovative ideas, Disney's chosen to play it safe by milking established properties for all their worth. This risk-averse approach is perhaps most evident in Disney's handling of the Star Wars sequel trilogy. Rather than taking creative risks and pushing the boundaries of the franchise, Disney opted to rehash familiar themes and tropes, resulting in a series of films that felt derivative and uninspired. Moreover, Disney's reluctance to take risks extends beyond the mere realm of storytelling into its broader business strategy. As the entertainment landscape continues to evolve and new competitors emerge, Disney has become increasingly conservative in its approach, relying on established brands and proven formulas to drive revenue. While this strategy may yield short-term gains, it ultimately stifles innovation and creativity, leading to stagnation and decline. By prioritizing profits over artistic integrity, Disney risks alienating audiences and damaging the long-term viability of its most valuable franchises. Furthermore, Disney's reluctance to take risks has had a chilling effect on the broader entertainment industry, discouraging other studios from investing in original ideas and pushing the boundaries of storytelling. Instead of fostering a culture of innovation and experimentation, Disney's dominance has led to a homogenization of content, with formulaic blockbusters dominating the box office. As Disney continues to navigate the tumultuous waters of the Star Wars franchise, the future remains uncertain. With financial woes, creative stagnation, and a fractured fan base, the path forward is fraught with challenges and obstacles. Despite the mounting difficulties, Disney shows no signs of slowing down its Star Wars production machine. The announcement of a new Ray-led trilogy and other upcoming projects suggests that Disney is committed to squeezing every last drop of profit from the franchise, regardless of the creative or financial risks involved. Moreover, Disney's refusal to listen to fan feedback and take risks has only deepened the divide between the studio and its audience. Instead of fostering a sense of community and shared passion for the franchise, Disney's actions have alienated many longtime fans, driving them away from the franchise that they once loved. In the face of these challenges, the future of Star Wars hangs in the balance. Will Disney learn from its mistakes and course correct, or will it continue down the path of creative bankruptcy and financial ruin? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain. The force is not with Disney's current approach. As fans grapple with their disillusionment or uncertainty about the future of the franchise, one thing remains clear. The fate of Star Wars ultimately lies in the hands of those who love it most. Whether Disney can win back the trust and loyalty of its audience remains to be seen. But one thing is certain, the galaxy far, far away will never be the same again. What are your thoughts on Disney's handling of the Star Wars franchise? Do you think they're making the right moves, or are they driving the franchise further into the ground? Let us know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching, and until next time, goodbye.